Hey guys, what's up? So I'm coming in today to do a product review that I actually am pretty excited about doing. Um, it is a foundation that is pretty popular amongst the beauty community. So, if you haven't already read the title, it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. It has SPF 10. And a few of the things that I like the most about this mascara or that made me want to... Uh, mascara? Really? Foundation. That made me want to try it the most is that um, it says that it wears up to 15 hours. We'll see. Even in high humidity. It won't smudge or come off on your clothes and it's oil free. So number one, I work 12 hour shifts in the ER of all places so we'll put this to the test number two I hate when makeup comes off on my clothes if I hug my husband and there's my face is on his shirt or just taking off your clothes and you got makeup around the collar I just hate that and number three I am super duper oily so if this is oil free then this is all for me so the Estee Lauder color that I am in is a uh, what is this 6W1 or sandalwood. I found this to be a slight bit dark, but because it's February coming up on the hotter months in Las Vegas, which I'm going to tone a tone darker anyway, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm going to keep it because um, I have worn this once, but I only wore it for like an hour. So um, I can't truly give you an impression or a review on it. So I'm recording this pre-makeup, as you can see. I have no makeup on, and I'm going to put my makeup on and go about my day. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you how this held up. Now, I'm not going to work tonight. I'm just going to have a regular day, you know, and, and going shopping or dinner and whatever. So um, it's about... 10:30 ish right now or something in the morning and I'm recording this video so we'll see how this holds up so stay tuned if you want to see if this Estee Lauder double wear is really worth all the hype if you follow me on Instagram I did put a post up on this when I bought it I did get this at the CCO and I paid a whopping $26 for it so the hour and a half that I had it on, I was absolutely in love. Like, I couldn't stop looking at myself. Like, that's how bad it was. And that's pretty conceited. But, for 26 bucks, I think I'm going to go back and get a couple more to stash in the drawer. So, stay tuned if you want to see how this holds up and my first impressions on a whole day with this foundation on. See you later. Okay guys, so I'm back. This is me after I have done my face for the day. Why do I have, why do I have this in my hand? Weird. Okay, so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation on my face. So that you know everything that I did, I did not put a moisturizer on today. I don't know. I used Studio Fix, what is it? Smashbox. Photo finish as a primer. This is something that I picked up at IMAX. And um, then I just put on the foundation. I used my Urban Decay, the one that came with the skin, the Naked Skin Foundation. I used that brush. So again, the Double Wear Sandalwood. I did contour with Max Blunt a little bit on the side. I'm wearing a Ben Nye um, blush and something. For my eyes, I just found this in my drawer, you know. This is something I got at Sephora for like a dollar. It was in the, the, three dollars. It was in the, you know, the clearance bin at Sephora. And on my lips, I'm wearing Buxom's Acapulco. Anyway, so I did spray with a setting spray with Scandinavia. I did not put on any powder to set this foundation just because the powder is something that's going to come off or, you know, transfer. And I really wanted to see if this foundation truly does not transfer. So I did not put on any powder to set. This is the foundation dried and in a matte, nice finish. 
and so we'll see how long this lasts. I am going to wear this all day long. I'm not bringing any thing with me when I go out to touch up. Stay tuned for the after all day wear. It'll probably be in about another eight or nine hours. I'll try to post it uh, tonight or tomorrow, but I'll try to record the all day video late, as late as I can so that you can see the real wear of it, okay? So if you are interested in how this foundation wears all day, stay tuned. So I'm back and it is the end of my day. Time check. It is 22.06 and for those of you who don't know what that is, it's 10.06 at night on the very same day. So what I'm doing is showing you how my double wear held up. So what did I do today? Um, I went and did some shopping. I hung out with my friend. She came over. We played in some makeup. I did not touch my face whatsoever. I did not spray anything on my face. I didn't powder my nose. I did not do anything. I ate like three different times since I have applied this makeup. As you can see, I have different lip because I just put on a lip balm for the sake of this video. So, what do I think? Let me... Let me pull this hair out of the way so you can see. So, this foundation lives up to everything that it claims. Not kidding you. Number one, oil free. You guys know how oily I am. The only thing I use under this foundation is this. This is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I did use that. I did some contouring, uh, some blush, highlight, under eye concealer, full face foundation, not one thing on my face moved, okay? When I say nothing about this foundation changed all day, like I literally mean that. Let me show you. <clears throat> yeah. These are my favorite paper towels, Viva, in case y'all don't know, I'm team Viva, I don't buy nothing else. Check this out. So oily girls like T-Zone, I'm like pushing, 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 nothing. It does not come off. This makeup does not come off. Now my blush might, still nothing. Nothing. Crazy, right? If anything comes off, it'll be like my blush or my contour, but this foundation did not move. Even around my mouth, like when I was eating and wiping like with my napkin or whatever, it didn't come off then, so thumbs up to this foundation. <clears throat> if I could rate this foundation on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best foundation I've ever used and 1 being the absolute worst, um, no lie, this is like a 9.5. And, and the only reason why I did not give it a full 10 is because it doesn't have a pump, which... That's, t that's something that I can fix. Of course I can go and buy a pump. That's nothing. But for right now, I don't have one. It's a little messy. I think if Estee Lauder watches this video, that's the only improvement that you need to make to this foundation. Otherwise, baby, do not stop making it because she's going to go get some more. So, $26. I paid for this. At the Cosmetic Company Outlet, if you go to an Estee Lauder counter or to Sephora, I think Sephora sells Estee Lauder. Don't quote me on that, but it's $37. Excuse me. Uh, that was the price from the CCO. So, I mean, I'm winning both ways. Literally 12 hours. I put this on at 10.30 in the morning. You guys were with me. It's barely 10.30 tonight. But this foundation, though, I mean, I can't even say nothing else about it. I can't say anything else about it to convince you guys to go out and get this foundation. Like, real talk, it is my new holy grail. Becca, boo, you number two now, Becca. You got your, uh, oops, I almost messed that up. It has not moved. Nothing's changed. Nothing. Still here. It's still here. Still matte. 
I cannot believe that I did not have any oil breakthrough. I don't know if it's the combination of the two. I don't know what to attribute it to. Don't trip. This is legit too. But this right here, if you have not tried this, I dare you. I dare you to go try it. That's it. I'm done. I'm dropping the mic. Done. I ain't gonna drop this though because it might break and this is some good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my 12 hour video. Thank you for uh, all the comments and questions below. Please do leave anything. I love hearing from you guys. Give me lots of feedback. Follow me on Instagram at Pass Me My Lip Gloss. Uh, hit me up on my Facebook. My Facebook is my real name. It's Tysha T. Jones RN. No problem. I love this foundation. Total thumbs up. I have no, the only con is that it doesn't have a pump, but that has nothing to do with the actual product. The actual product is winning for me. So go ahead and try it, girls. Again, my color is sandalwood, and I absolutely recommend this, especially for nurses like me who have to do those 12 hour shifts and you have to wear those masks. It doesn't come off. All right, girls. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video, and thanks again for tuning in. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.